All right, so today what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to get uh, pretty professional results uh, photographing. In this case, it'll be a dial uh, soap bottle. And we're going to photograph this uh, and make it look like a professional image and do it all with just this one little flash unit here. And at one point, we will also incorporate this little diffuser right here. So, see how we go about doing that. So the first thing we have to do is get rid of all the ambient light exposure. So here we're going to go ahead and um, take a shot with just the ambient light. And you notice here the bottle doesn't have bad a bad look to it. I mean it's okay, but. Uh, the ambient light is definitely affecting it. So what I want to do is I want to adjust my settings here. And so I'm switching all over to manual, adjusting my settings. And we'll take another shot here. And now when we look at this picture here, we can see that it's totally black, which is what we want. So we want the image to be totally black because we only want the flash to expose. So we will turn all of this on now. Okay, so now that I have it set on manual and I got uh, the exposure that I want, and I'm set at uh, 1 200th of a second at f6.3, ISO 100. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our first shot here with this flash just sort of along the edge of the bottle here. And yeah, let's look and see how that looks when it comes in. And there we go. And so we got the highlights on the side of the bottle there, and it's not, not too bad, it's a little bit dark here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my settings here on the flash to 1 16th of power. All right, we'll just move it up twice as, twice as much. So basically it's gonna get twice the amount of light onto the subject. And we'll go ahead and try another shot. Oh, that flash didn't go off that time. So let's try it again. There we go. All right, so that's looking a little better. That's got a nice little edge right along here. Got a nice edge and uh, well lit. So I, li I like the way that's looking. So now what I want to do is I want to go to the other side of this bottle. So I want to get this, I want to capture this side uh, with the light here. And let's look at that. And I'm, I think I want to bring the light around a little bit more towards the front here and light up more towards the front of the bottle here. There we go. And let's see how that one looks. It's a little better. I got, I got my lighting on the front of the bottle there. Um, I think I want to adjust it just a little bit more. I liked the way that this one was. Maybe from the side here like this. And that one's not even any reflection on it at all. So let's bring it forward just a tiny bit. There we go, that's what I wanna see right there. So we have, now we have it on the left side and we also have it on the right side there. So I like both those. I actually like the right side a little bit better there. Let me see, let me see if I can duplicate that on the left side, just one more shot here. And again, it's all trial and error because I'm gonna be combining these in Photoshop. Yeah, that's what I want. Now, now I got a nice, nice edge on it all the way up here. And even that's lit pretty well, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take one shot with the flash coming down just like this. And again, this is all hard light flash. This is not um, you know soft light at all at this point. And right now I like the way that the upper part of this looks right up here. So that looks rather nice. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this diffuser in between these two. So what I wanna do is I wanna set my timer now, my drive mode, uh, I wanna set that to, oops, bring that back. Two seconds here, there we go. 
few seconds so that once once I press this, I'm gonna have to sort of juggle three things here. So I want this background here. And problem is just knowing when that thing actually clicked. There we go. So right there. So I did that on the background. So we can see that that's rather bright and um, in your face right there. But I do like the way that the liquid looks in the bottle. I like the way the liquid looks right there. So what I'm going to do is I had the light relatively close. I had the light about this, this far away. So what I'm going to do is extend it back a little bit further. So that, that way it diffuses more. And yeah, let's see, that was a little bit too much. Let me try it again. Make sure I'm facing. Yeah, that looks a little better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my flash up one more power. So I'm going to go to eighth power. On that, I had it at a 16. So now it's going to throw out twice as much light. And again, go ahead and take the shot. And I'll move that light quite a ways back there. And yeah, that looks a little better. And I'm going to adjust it again. And again, it's all, um, I'm trying to figure out exactly where this light is at. And I'm still a little bit to the right of the bottle. I want to be directly behind it. There we go. That's what I want right there. So now I have all of my shots that I'm going to need. So these are, these are all the shots that I want for this particular one. And uh, now we're just going to go on over into Photoshop. But the, the key thing to remember is that uh, when you're using a flash is you want to set the camera up on manual. You want to have it on manual focus so nothing changes. Uh, you want to be able to use the flash uh, with some type of diffuser on. It helps uh, quite a bit, especially on a subject like this. Once you combine it all, you know, the light's going to look uh, rather uh, specular, but uh, we will tone that down. The background, you want some type of background that you can diffuse the light. And uh, that's sort of what we did with this. As a matter of fact, you know, I'm going to try one where I'm actually going to point the light up at the background here just to see what happens. And uh, yeah, that gives a kind of a nice glow. So all this, all this background one is doing is this is what's going to outline the back of the bottle so I can cut it out in Photoshop and make my mask for the bottle. And it's also going to light up the inside of the uh, uh, liquid in the bottle. So that's all the purpose of this. So let's head on over to Photoshop and put this together. Mm -hmm. 